many people have the opinion that um, bankers uh, find it easy or easier to get um, visa approval from from any country they desire how true is that yes very true oh okay. and the reason is that you know because we earn we earn relatively very well let me put it that way we, we earn relatively very well okay like let me give you an example now as of 2006 mm. when i joined the industry okay I think uh, the, the entry point, when I mean the entry point, the entry level at my own, in my own bank then was 3.3 .3 million. Wow. Per annum. wow. Wow. Yes, as of 2006. Mm. So, and if you, if you compare that to what is being earned in other sectors, other, in the, mm. other sectors in the country, you know that that is really mm. a pretty high salary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. Yeah, you can you can only get that probably in the oil industry, mm. or probably in the telecoms, or probably in the IT world. Okay. So bankers are really, really well paid. So when you apply for visa at the embassy mm. and you are presenting uh, a salary uh, in the range of probably uh, when I was in the bank. Okay, let me use myself as an example. Okay. Uh, I was I was on uh, uh, six figures okay. monthly. Okay. Yeah, I was on six figures monthly, and when I mean six figures, close mm. to seven figures. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, close to seven figures monthly. So the, the embassy tends to look at it that yes, you are doing well, mm. you are relatively mm. okay. Mm. You understand. Mm. So, there's a possibility that you'll be considered because one of the criteria for visa, visa, uh, the granting of visas mm. is that, that they want to be sure that you have a very good job here. So even if you relocate, and, uh, and, you won't be a burden. And yes, and the fact that even if you travel out of the country, you can sustain yourself for mm. that period of time mm. when you are outside the country. Mm. Uh, so that is one reason why bankers are highly favored when we when we apply for visa. Mm. I think all through the time I was in the bank, I was only denied visa once that I can really readily remember, and that was funny enough. It was an is a visa application I did to South Africa then, okay. and the reason why it was denied was that I applied for. My hotel accommodation through a third party, mm. and I was told that when you apply for hotel reservation, mm. you apply through the hotel directly, not through third party. Oh. So I think that was the reason why I was denied the visa then. Okay. That my reservation was not done through the hotel directly, that I did it through. Mm. That's something to party. note. Okay. 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 Yeah. So when you talk of visa application, bankers being given visas by various countries yes because I hope, we are earning relatively very well i hope this expo uh, I, I hope this uh, uh, expose won't actually now get more bankers thinking oh really let me start applying <laughs> but anyway that's why we're no, having this discussion that's why no, we're having no. this discussion they, they, no everybody that works at the bank knows that okay. your your chance of being given visa is very high wow, wow. because you work in the bank Okay. Though recently, recently because of the high rate of Nigerians leaving the country and not coming back, mm. I think that is already under consideration too. Mm. Especially, let me see, let me say, in the last two, three years now. Okay. Yeah, yeah this bank also have been denied visas because they, You've seen they, the know, they know that most people that leave the country are don't return. Are uh, even those that they feel hence well. Wow. Because there's something not there's something nothing that goes on in Nigeria that they don't know too. True. So if you are talking of job insecurity, they know that there's insecurity in job mm. in Nigeria. So mm. they know. So because you earn a millionaire monthly does not mean that you can't abandon the job <laughs> if you have a visa to exactly. probably Canada, mm -hmm. Canada or the US or even UK. And the rest like that. So okay, L let's yeah, talk. This trend, like I said, this trend is 
Mm. You said the things have been changed now too. So okay. Things have been changed. Okay. All right. Um, that's um, it's wonderful to to know that at least for you, your visa uh, processing was easy and uh, you got it. Uh, question. When you moved four years ago, did you move alone? Did you move with family? And how did that um, play out? Was it rough? Was it easy? Can you let us into, uh, you know, how, how that process was for you and your family? Yes, I, I think I moved with my family four years okay. ago. But before then, before then, uh, we've been traveling out of the country for vacations. We've been okay. to UK. Mm. We've been to... We've been to Paris. We've been to South Africa. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have Schengen visa because if okay. you can go to Paris, that means you have Schengen visa. So mm -hmm. from Paris, we visited like three, four other countries okay. in Europe. So all this put together gives you what is referred to as uh, travel experience. So before then, for that four years, so we've been traveling together. Okay. Before then. In okay. fact, in fact, I I had I had two of my kids right here in the US then. Okay. In the course of our travel, in the course of our traveling, so okay. we we had valid visa. Let me put it that way. Okay. So when we now decided that it was time for us to just leave the country, mm. so it was easy for us to leave. So it wasn't as if we went to we apply for visa because we already had a valid visa. Okay. And like I said, I had two of my kids in the U.S. here that carries U.S. passport. So, so it was easy for us to leave because we, with the parents then, I mean myself and my wife, mm. we, both had, uh, we both had our visas then. That is, we still had running visas. Mm. Mm. So it was easy for us to try to, to just leave. Okay. But, but then I need to do a, lead a, a lot of convincing um, to convince my wife then that we need to leave. Mm. Because she too was doing well. She too was doing well in a place of work, but I was still the breadwinner was any more than her. So, and for sure, if anything happens to my own salary, it would oh, really, salary really, really stopped, affect. It, yes, it's going to, it, it definitely affect the, the the family as a whole. Okay, so was it easy settling down with everyone at once, or um, you had some backup to you know get by before you could get your footing? in the u.s yeah uh, okay uh let me go into that a little like i said we've been coming we, uh for like three years or so we've been mm. coming that we've been near our u.s visa then i had my first kid uh, my second kid in the u.s here mm. so we we know how it works here mm. You understand? Mm. So it, it was quite different from, from someone that was just coming for the first time and decided not to return. No. Okay. We've been coming. We've been, okay. we've been holidaying in the U.S. Okay. So we know, we, we, quite, we know how it works here. So settling down wasn't difficult compared okay. to someone that was coming for the first time. Okay. Yeah, it could be a bit challenging, but it wasn't difficult for us because... Uh, you are when kind we eventually of okay. Left, when we eventually left that very year, we left. Mm. I still came for holiday that very year, but I, I now told my friends that I'll be coming back, and when I come back, I'm coming back finally. So the mm. grand work was already in place. Let me okay. put it that way. Okay, okay. getting a place. So you, you, you a, had some time. Mm. So you Is had some. So you had some time. You planned it out, you prepared your mind mentally and of course that of your wife. So it was easy for you to exactly. come back finally and settle down. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the grand work was, was already, already done. On. Okay. I, I, About I, job. I came for holiday. Okay. I came for holiday in the month of March. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think I left the Jida finally four months after okay. so the grand work was already there okay the all right accommodation mm. everything was ready how was about job place. How, how about your job uh were you able to secure a job immediately you know you finally got there or you had to waste some well are you in the banking industry still uh 
I didn't get a job almost immediately okay. when I came. Okay. Because uh, I'm in the US here. Uh, getting a job in the US, you you need work. You need work authorization. You need to be authorized to work. Okay. So it is not when you just come in, you start working immediately. You still need to process your work authorization. Okay. But aside that, uh, there's there is still what is referred to as under the table employment. That mm-hmm. even without uh, government valid work authorization, you can still work. In fact, we have majority of Nigerians under the employment or let me say, let me put it this way, working with what I refer to as uh, what I refer to as under the table employment. Okay. And they get paid and they are living well compared to living in the country. Hmm. Okay, so um, how long does it take to get uh, your uh, authorization? Second, the second okay. part of your question that am I still in the banking industry mm-hmm. right in the US? Mm. Presently, I have my work authorization. Okay, good. But uh, uh, I don't want to work in the bank because bankers in the US are not as paid as some other industries in the US. Okay. It is in Nigeria that bankers are among the top paid. Oh, really? Uh, yes, but in the US here, Mm. Bankers are not well paid. They are oh, not well paid. So you are They're actually well changing. You are thinking of changing um, your line of work. Yes, sure. Wow. wow. Uh, I'm already into something else different from the banking industry. Can you let uh, us into? Yes, been... Can you let us into without even letting us into what you are doing? You might tell us if you want to. But can you tell us? Let's say the the, the three or four or five top jobs in the U.S. that one should look to, um, you know, join in if you want to be in the U.S. and you want to end big? Okay. The, I think the number one paying job in the U.S. Mm. is the IT industry. Okay. Okay. The IT industry. And not just, and not just in the U.S. globally. Mm. Mm. That right. is why uh, that is why bankers that are in the IT sector mm. or the or, or yeah, Bankers that are in the IT sector in the industry, mm. they, are, I think they are the ones that are even living in Nigeria the most because mm. once you get your work authorization in the US here, the sky is your limit. In fact, yeah. the sky is your starting point. Let me put wow. it that way. Wow. I I have friends that we both worked in the same bank, but because they are in the IT industry, they got I enough. can tell you that. Wow. Yes, I can tell you that. They are already millionaires in the USA. Imagine wow. somebody earning seven hundred dollars per hour. Wow! It sounds crazy. Wow! Per so hour? You can, you can, you can, wow! Per hour. So you can you can compute that in naira. Mm. So when I that's why I said they are already millionaires in the USA. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can imagine seven hundred dollars per hour. Not seven dollars. Not seventy. Seven hundred dollars mm. mm. per hour. Per hour. Yes. Mm, fantastic. What other job? What other? Uh, what other fields is worth considering? Uh, you know, as high paying. Yes, uh, because uh, in the US here, they are more particular about the health of their workers or mm. their their citizens. Let me put it that way. Mm. Health workers who are high paying jobs. Mm. Talk of doctors, uh, nurses specialist in the health sector any kind of uh, health, spe- health workers specialization mm. yes okay. yes is high pain too high pain when i mean high pain very very high pain too hmm. yes fantastic good to know um yes. okay so that is why that is why you see uh, doctors too leaving the country, mm. not just coming to US to Saudi Arabia. Coming to there, there was a time I, I I read in the in the in the dailies that uh, Saudi Arabia came to interview doctors in Nigeria because they really need them. Mm. They really need them. They, they, they need them to come and work over there, and they know that whatever they are being paid over there, it's they can't better. they can't earn it in Nigeria. Mm. When you have doctors earning thirty thousand dollars monthly, wow! I think that is pretty high compared to what they will earn in Nigeria. It is, it is, it is 